Topic A01. Introducing yourself. Hello. My name is Anna. I am 25 years old. I live in Miami, Florida with my husband and two children. I have one son in kindergarten and one daughter in first grade. They both attend public school. My husband is a mechanic. On weekends, he works at a restaurant as a dishwasher. The restaurant usually gets more customers on weekends, so they need extra people to wash dishes. Repeat the sentences. Topic A02 Family My name is Sangeeta. I am 11. I live in New Delhi, India with my father, mother, two brothers, and three sisters. My grandparents also live with us. In India, family is very important. It is common to have grandparents, aunts, uncles, and slash or cousins living in the same house. My aunts, uncles, and cousins also live nearby. We see each other often. My older brother is a computer programmer. Right now, he is in Australia. His company sent him there for one year. We all miss him a lot. We write him letters every week. I want him to come home soon. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A03 Work Carolina writes an email to her friend about work. Hi Christina, I am sorry I haven't called you for so long. How are you? How is your new apartment? I have been very busy at work. I arrive at the office at 7 a.m. and leave at around 6.30 p.m. I just get half an hour for lunch and a five-minute break in the morning and in the afternoon. I am very tired when I get home so I just eat, watch some television and go to bed. In the office, I am on the phone all day, listening to customer complaints, and entering them into our computer system. At the end of the day, I have to write a summary of all the calls I received during the day, and give my boss a status on the complaints that are not yet resolved. I do not know how much longer I can do this. I need a vacation, or even better, I need another job. I'll call you this weekend. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A04 A new home. Francisco stands outside his new house. He reaches into his pocket and pulls out the key. He turns the key in the lock and opens the door. He steps into the living room and looks around. The paint is peeling off the walls. There is no furniture. The house is dirty and smells bad. He tries to open a window but it is broken. The house does not have a kitchen or a bedroom, but there is a microwave on the floor on one side of the room. He wonders if it works. The place looks terrible but it is all he can afford. He covers his nose and mouth with his hand and opens the bathroom door. It is in bad condition. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A05 At the airport. Miguel is standing in line at the airport. It is his turn and he walks to the counter. The lady at the counter asks him for his ID and she checks his flight details. Yes. He is confirmed on flight 103 from Los Angeles to Hawaii at noon. He does not have any bags to check in, but has one small carry-on bag that he will take with him. The agent prints out his boarding pass. The airport security officers walk past him with a big dog. The dog is sniffing around people's luggage trying to detect drugs and explosives. Miguel is relieved when he sees the dog walk past him. Suddenly, the dog turns and begins to sniff his bag and bark. The security officer looks at Miguel. Sir, please bring me your bag and come with me. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A06 I don't feel well. Andres is not feeling well. He was at a party last night and got home at 3 a.m. He has a headache and feels nauseous. He had too much to drink and ate too much shrimp. He gets out of bed and realizes that he is not wearing any pants. He looks around but cannot find them. He goes into the bathroom and looks around for his pills. He cannot find them. He hears voices. 
He walks out of the bedroom, goes down the stairs and into the kitchen. There are people talking and laughing in the kitchen. He wonders who else came back home with him last night. Then he realizes something. He doesn't have stairs in his apartment. He is in someone else's home. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A07 Sports The team is exhausted. They sit in silence in the locker room, waiting for their coach. It is halftime and they don't know what to do. They are losing 28-0. The coach staggers in. He stinks of smoke and whiskey and his shirt has a big yellow stain on it. He raises his hand and yells, silence. I cannot understand anything if you all talk at the same time. The players look at each other confused. No one had said anything. Now, everyone be seated and listen to me. We can still win this game. Just keep defending and, you know, scoring. That's the beauty of basketball. A 28-point lead is nothing. Now, if you gentlemen will excuse me, he walks over to the restroom, goes in and shuts the door. The players hear a loud thud and assume that he has passed out. No one says a word. They look at their captain. He stands up and speaks to the team. Well, we should have mentioned that we were playing soccer and not basketball, but I guess it's too late now. So, what can I say? Let's go out there and do our best to limit the humiliation. Okay. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A08 Money The bank teller counts the money in front of George and hands it to him. Here you are sir. That is everything you have in your account. I have closed it as you requested. You should receive a confirmation in the mail. Have a nice day. George looks at the money and takes a deep breath. It is everything he has saved. He lost his job a month ago and cannot find anything else. He has to use all the money from his savings account to feed his family. They were evicted from their apartment three days ago and now live with relatives. This money is all he has to survive until he gets another job. He carefully puts the money in his coat pocket and walks to the exit holding it tight. I will guard this money with my life he whispers to himself. Three men wearing masks enter the bank. One pulls out a gun, fires a shot in the air and yells, everyone stay calm. This is a robbery. No one will get hurt if you do exactly as you are told. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A09 Traffic Paul looks at his watch. He is worried. He has 15 minutes to get to his interview and he is stuck in a traffic jam. He looks around. Everyone is honking their horns and trying to move into the lane that seems to be moving faster. They have barely moved in the last 30 minutes. Paul looks out of the window at the people walking past him on the sidewalk. An old woman walking with a cane passed him 15 minutes ago. He cannot be late for this interview. He grabs his suitcase, opens the door and gets out of the car. He shuts the door and begins to walk quickly down the street. All the cars behind him begin to honk and the drivers start yelling at him. One yells, Hey! Where do you think you're going? You can't just leave your car. Hey! Come back! Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A10 Pets Jacob takes the ladder and leans it against the tree. He starts to climb up and tries not to look down. He cannot believe he is doing this. His neighbor's cat climbed up the tree in front of the house and cannot climb down. Now normally, Jacob would not offer to rescue a cat in a tree. He is afraid of heights, ladders, and cats. But his neighbor, Anita, is gorgeous and rescuing her cat would be the perfect way to be a hero and get her attention. He is almost there. The ladder begins to shake and he looks down and realizes how high he is. He looks at his beautiful neighbor and decides that it is not worth it. He screams loudly help. I'm falling. The cat suddenly jumps from the tree onto his head. 
They both fall to the ground and the cat runs to her owner. Anita runs to Jacob, who is lying on the ground. Thank you so much, she says. That was very heroic. I hope you are not hurt. It was nothing, he whispers. By the way, if it's not too much trouble, would you be so kind as to call me an ambulance? Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A11 Relationships Renata walks into the restaurant. She sees her boyfriend Diego sitting at a table near the window and smiles. He sees her and gets up. They hug and sit down. They call the waiter and order two glasses of wine. He looks nervous and begins to talk. Look, I know this is awkward but let me, but Renata interrupts him. You don't have to tell me. I know how you feel. I was so excited when you called to invite me to lunch. I have missed you too. Not seeing each other for a couple of months was the best thing for our relationship. I realize now that you are the one for me. Let's forget the past. Things will be different from now on, I promise you. Diego takes a deep breath and takes a sip of wine. Actually, I invited you to lunch because I didn't want to tell you over the phone. I'm sorry but I've met someone else. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A12 Directions Marcelo and his friend Chris are exploring a new country in a rented car. They are looking for a restaurant called The Best Steak in Town. However, they are completely lost. The directions they were given were very difficult to follow, so they stop a stranger by the side of the road to ask him for directions. The stranger smiles and replies, Oh, that's a really popular restaurant. I can tell you how to get there. It's really simple. Chris takes out a paper and pencil and begins to make notes. The stranger continues. Drive straight ahead until you see a house with a broken fence. Make a right after that house and keep going until you pass two big rocks on the left. Soon after that you will see a bush that looks like a giant cockroach. Turn left at that bush and keep going for another 20 minutes. You should pass two gas stations on your right. About a mile after the second gas station, you will see three mounds of dirt and a house with a horse tied to a tree. Make a right at that house and it will be the second restaurant on your left. The sign is broken but you can't miss it. It has a rock next to it that looks like a bear holding a sword. You may see a few people standing outside drinking beer. Good luck. Repeat the sentences. Repeat the sentences. Topic A13 Addiction It is Rodrigo's turn to speak. He is nervous. He doesn't want to be here but he has no choice. He has lost his job, his home, his family, and most of his friends. He takes a deep breath, gets up and walks to the podium at the front of the room. He adjusts the microphone and looks at the group of people in front of him. They begin to clap and shout words of encouragement. Rodrigo takes deep breaths to relax and grips the sides of the podium to stop his hands from shaking. When the clapping stops he summons up his courage and speaks. Good evening everyone. Thank you for your support. My name is Rodrigo, and I am addicted to heroin. Activar los subtitulos del español sudamericano para la traducción.